Passion is something that has been missing from the entertainment industry for a very, very long time. Even those creators that are filled with passion have to temper their passion against the corporate interests of the people who fund these kinds of projects. So anytime I see something that is created purely for the joy of creation, I'm in love. Well, boys, I'm in love again. As a well-documented promoter of indie projects, despite having no audience, and a verified webcomic connoisseur, today is a very good day. Lack of Daisy is a webcomic set in the 1920s, Prohibition era, following a band of scrappy misfreeds as they try to keep their terrible speakeasy afloat. Everyone's also a cat, but that's mostly irrelevant. I actually read this comic back when I was a kid, and then I didn't check up on it for years, which I feel terrible about, but I can't take all the blame because it updates really, really slowly. But the art is goddamn gorgeous. More to the point, it just got a fully animated pilot, and it is some of the most gorgeous, mouth-watering animation I've ever seen in my entire life. So please go check it out. If you're watching this video, though, you've probably already seen the pilot because it's doing very, very well. So after I talk about how much I love Lack of Daisy, I will also give some recommendations on some other Prohibition era media that I find delightful. So there's something here for you as well. Anyone who subscribed off of my last movie recommendation, I am working on the theory. The script is nine pages long and growing every day. Please bear with me, it's so hard. Hello? Yes, it's the 1920s calling. Let's get in the car and drive to a party and listen to jazz on the radio and go to the movies. The economy's great and it'll probably be great forever. Just kidding. So there's the setting. The entirety of America, having recently evolved into a continental frat party, was promptly deprived of its booze by mom and dad, the US government. This turned every citizen into a sneaky teenager trying to lift a bottle or two from the store without getting caught. Coming off the heels of the Great War, technology, both domestic and military, has exploded, giving easy access to automatic weaponry and heavy machinery, at the same time as smuggling became the most profitable venture available to anyone, blue and white collar alike. So, here's what Lackadaisy can offer you. Every panel of this comic, even going back to its very first page, is incredibly detailed. In the beginning, more so than most comics, by the end, maybe the best I've ever read, and I've read hundreds. An incredibly well-written cast of characters, every single individual is unique and memorable. Even the side characters, who I can't remember the names of, have distinct personalities in my mind. While each page releases very slowly, you can tell that the plot is considered beforehand, and every aspect is balanced. So even while the comic juggles many disparate plot lines all at the same time, there's a sense of cohesion and steady progress, slowly but surely, towards what will be, most likely, one of the greatest finales of a web project we've ever seen. Also, the animation in the pilot is mind-bogglingly good, and considering when the webcomic started way back in 2006, it's not going anywhere. So you have the security of knowing this story will finish, come hell or high water. So, you watch the pilot, you fall in love. You read the backlog in one evening, and you want more. But there isn't more. What's a man to do when he has acquired a taste for the prohibition and yet the story's not done yet? The answer is not watch The Great Gatsby 30 times. Don't worry. Though the pickings for this era are mighty slim, except for the mafia movies, but that's its own genre at this point. So, I have sourced for you two anime that are set in the prohibition and as a little bonus, utter masterpieces in their own right. I don't like to drag these videos out because they're meant to be recommendations more than reviews. And it's always been my belief that if a recommendation takes about the same amount of time as watching the first episode, you've royally screwed the pooch. So I'll wrap this up as quickly as I can. 91 Days is a Prohibition era mobster story. It's about found family, brotherhood, and revenge. It's really, really fun, and then really, really sad. Bacchano is chaotic. I actually believe that's what Bacchano means, ruckus. They throw you into the middle of the third act, and then the middle of the first act, and then they walk backwards to the center from both of those points in time, and then they show you the beginning and the end. It does a masterful job of making you ask a million questions, then giving you a million answers, and then because of those answers, you end up with a billion questions because it all makes even less sense than before, somehow. And when I watched it for the first time, I pulled an all-nighter just to binge it. It's absolutely fantastic. Both of these shows are considered 10 out of 10, and both just happen to be set in the Prohibition because it's really fun set dressing. Also, the creator of Homestuck made a comic before Homestuck called Problem Sleuth, which is very, very loosely set in the Prohibition era, 
There's no historical accuracy. It's just a really long shit post. But if that sounds like fun to you, that's there as well. Watch or read any of these things or don't. I don't care. Bye.